Buddies, welcome back to Motorcycle University at Inline Four Engineering in Madhupur, Hyderabad. So today we are going to be talking about a problem which almost every other motorcycle rider faces, and we have to beat our head to identify what the problem is. I mean, why is it happening? That is the battery becoming low the battery not charging on a motorcycle yes how often has this happened that you have been riding your motorcycle regularly it is not that you parked your motorcycle and did not ride it for a month or so you've been riding regularly but all of a sudden you cannot crank the motorcycle that is press the electric starter when you do that the, you feel that the battery is low why why does it happen for this to understand this, we have to understand the motorcycle battery charging system and the motorcycle electrical system. Okay? To start with, there are three different main components on a motorcycle. Here, what you see, this place has the stator and the rotor. Okay? So, this thing is a magnetic coil. There are magnets. Okay? permanent magnets and these magnets are here and there is a rotor which spins because of the crankshaft okay the moment your engine starts running around this a uh, thing spins so this produces electrical power just like a generator at home or a commercial building and this produces three phase power you see the three yellow wires these produce ac power and they produce about 100 volts ac each okay so here is where the power is produced and from here as you know the motorcycle battery is a dc battery is a 12 volt dc battery but how is ac power charging dc for that what happens is that the power Three phase power from here goes to here. Now, could you please show this gopi here? All right, okay. Here, what you find is a regulator rectifier. Now, the three phase power goes into the rectifier first. And what happens is that the AC power gets inverted, gets converted into DC power. All right, but it is still not uh, low enough to charge a battery okay because this battery a 12 volt battery can take at the highest level 14.8 volts for charging if you send say 16 or 18 or 20 volts dc continuously then the battery will overheat it will swell up and it will die or it might even catch fire so the same unit also has something known as a regulator okay so the AC power three phase is going in, getting converted into DC and then it is getting regulated to a maximum of 14.8 volts. Okay, so when you put this here, all right, when you put this here, the power AC goes here, gets converted into DC, gets regulated to 14.8 maximum and then these these two okay send that power to these terminals so these are the final terminals this is the positive and this is the negative and these are connected to the motorcycle battery this way i put it the other way around okay this way so this is the positive and this is the negative and when we take a multimeter or a voltmeter and check a healthy regular rectifier and a uh, magnet system should produce at least 13.5 volts and above even at idle rpm you when you check here on these terminals with a multimeter or a voltmeter it should show at least 13.5 and at 4000 plus rpm it should show at least 14 volts if it is not then either of your systems have a problem all right so i hope you understood the basics of uh, i mean this is not just basics it's quite in depth as a matter of fact but in the next video i'll show you how to diagnose it
Thank you. If you have any comments or suggestions, let me know in the com uh, comment section. And you can call us on the National Motorcycle Helpline number in the description. And you can always visit us at Inline 4 Engineering, Madhapur, 100 feet road, opposite to YSR statue. Bye-bye.